might have a chance of getting a Stanley Cup. Matthew McConaughey and Michaela Peterson? Ago. What? Oh. Oh, he's going to fucking run for Texas governor and he's like getting propped up by the Joe Rogan Peterson franchise. Dude, this is so bad. Why won't this why won't this poison go away? Why? Why won't this fucking Peterson poison go away? Like literal crippling addiction couldn't uh it couldn't uh, uh, kill off the Peterson poison. Okay? Couldn't excise it from our, our culture. God damn, dude. He has to be better than Abbott. I will take almost anyone. To no, no, no. I, I think he's great. I, I think, I think we, we talked about this on the podcast today. I think Matthew McConaughey would be very good at... Um, Matthew McConaughey would be a great governor. I think he'd be way more woke than fucking Abbott. And he could probably win. He can win if he ran as a Democrat. He could win as, if he ran as a Republican. I think Matthew McConaughey could literally become the next governor of Texas. 100,000%. And it would be incredible for the state in general. Like, it would be really, really, really good um, for Texas. We, we literally... Will and I talked about this on the podcast today. Um, he, he's just... Like, he loves Texas. Like, this dude is, is fucking born and bred. I don't know if he was born in Texas, actually. He probably is, right? He's like, dumbest timeline? No, dude. He would be better. He would be better than some fucking freaks that Texas would put up like Abbott. Like, think about that, dude. Yeah. He is loved in Texas. Universally loved. He's like a real fucking Texas guy, too. Like, Will was telling me that he... Will was telling me that he, like, goes and, and coaches, uh, you know, basketball games. Like, he'll just go to, like, a fucking... Uh, like a high school basketball game and like yell at the players and shit. Like you don't do that unless you love this shit. Unless you literally love Texas. Okay. Yeah. He went to college at uh, University of Texas. It would be infinitely better than the current fucking demons uh, that are uh, sitting atop the Texas throne. But uh, my fear, of course, is that celebrities are very malleable. They're very... Celebrities are very, ma very malleable. They're really fucking... Uh, they're really dumb, unfortunately. I'm sorry. There are some celebrities that are brilliant, obviously, but but a lot of them are dumb as fuck, and they get like totally duped by people like uh, Jordan Peterson and and Michaela, who controls Jordan Peterson now. So that that makes me really that scares the fuck out of me. How much good do you think he could actually do if he gets elected? Was Arnold any good? Well, it's California. California is entirely different than... The fuck do you mean was Arnold any good? Uh, California is entirely... What the fuck? My appropriate lobster... Family photos here. Scarlett joined in. Bro, they, yo, they are such... Yo, the Michaela Peterson... Uh, like, Michaela Peterson's story is so fucking freaky. No, I, I'm not cooming. I mean, I do think she's attractive for sure, but, like, yeah, I, I, without a doubt, I think that, like, everything Jordan Peterson has talked about, the Chaos Dragon, is literally Jordan Peterson's uh, wife and also Michaela Peterson. I'm not even kidding. Like, I, I legitimately believe that, like, the reason why Jordan Peterson is so fearful of women is is uh, a consequence is directly of his uh, daughter controlling him um like my kid joined in like that's not normal for family photos no that's normal no what's fucking not normal what's abnormal is her like dressing up as like a like a lobster didn't michaela turn her father into a vegetable pretty much i mean he's alive right now i think but like the reason why Jordan Peterson was only doing the reason why Jordan Peterson was doing like the fucking meat only diet and shit who like may have killed him almost or got him to the verge of death and definitely uh, probably significantly contributed to him uh, uh, building like a, a bunch of uh, psychological problems is Michaela Peterson is the one who started the fucking uh, meat, all meat diet.
<sighs> He's the reason he went to Russia as well. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it wasn't the meat. It was. Uh, it wasn't the meat. Hassan. It was Zizek. Yeah, Zizek did kill him a little bit. Like the only time in the history, the only time in the history of of debates when a debate opponent almost killed their other opponent just with words is probably Zizek, that dumpster diving fucking raccoon. He just fucking bounced him off the pavement, dude. It was insane. It's it's wild that like so many people very quietly stopped standing Jordan Peterson after that. Don't you notice how sort of sexy it is to say Michaela controls her father? Like, yeah, the family's whack, but that's pretty sexist. No, I think Jordan Peterson's a horrific person on his own, but Michaela literally did get him on the fucking meat diet. So I don't know how you would consider that to be sexist. Like, that's just the fucking truth. Michaela Peterson and her fucking freak diet of only eating meat is the reason why Jordan Peterson started only eating meat. How is that, how is that even remotely sexist? Anyway. Yeah, he claimed that it cured his depression and shit. Like, he was just saying the most psychotic stuff. Man, I mean, it was so obvious. Like, it, it's telegraphed from a mile away. I'm obsessed with, you know, self-help uh, sickos, right? I've always been obsessed with, like, the self-help sicko industry. I, I've, I've made uh, fun of Ty Lopez for years, for example. All those guys are massive grifters, okay? All of them. Like, every single one of them. Um, Some of them are actually brilliant, like... Like Tony Robbins, right? Is that his name? Robbins or Robinson or whatever? Like, he's actually a very smart guy, but he uses his understanding of the human condition and his observations for horrible reasons. Like, he just literally just uses it to, to, to basically uh, enrich himself uh, while, you know, maybe helping like 10% of people uh, and, and helping them in, in significantly positive ways. And then, uh, helping, months, yeah. not really helping 90% of the people, but still taking thousands and thousands of dollars in them. So, um, same with Jordan Peterson. Uh, I, I think that he was, I think that he was a self-help, uh, weirdo in the same way that a lot of these other people are. And, and, uh, to be quite frank, it was pretty obvious if you are aware of what this self-help shit looks like. The issue that I had was, the issue that I had with Jordan Peterson was that not only the issue that I had with Jordan Peterson was that not only was he like utilizing self-help, but he was also fucking, I mean, he, he was doing the Deepak Chopra shit for self-help really just like classic, uh, uh rehashed cliche self-help things, some of which are good. Um, just basically putting that in a book and then tying it around a, a conservative worldview about how, uh, conservative values, rugged individualism, things of that nature is the, is the best way to help yourself. And by nature, you're, you're focusing on some of the most, um, some of the, the most word I'm looking for. It's not gullible. It's, uh, vulnerable. Thank you. Some of the most vulnerable populations when you do that. The people who are seeking to better themselves in this way are oftentimes very vulnerable. And there's nothing wrong with that. And, and there's nothing wrong. I love bettering myself, right? I talk about that all the time. But in that desperation, if you're utilizing self-help and then pumping them full of fucking brain poison, uh, the brain poison of conservatism, uh, while, while categorically opposing collectivist uh, action and collectivist thought, and... and, and you know, uh, being horrifically transphobic as well. So much so that like an entire generation of Americans and Canadians literally thought that like you would go to jail for uh, gender crimes in Canada or some shit. Uh, to my knowledge, not a single fucking uh, person has ever gone to jail for misgendering someone in Canada. But that made uh, Canada a less safe place or made North America for that matter, a less safe space for trans people. Uh, doing that over and over again for a very long time was pretty fucked up. Jordan Peterson classifies himself as a liberal. Yeah, it doesn't fucking matter. He's just, he's one of those. He is one of those classic, I'm a liberal. I'm actually a liberal. I'm just a centrist. 
who are you to judge his teaching as a PhD? Yeah, it doesn't matter, okay? There are plenty of people that have more knowledge than I do in my chat about the matters I speak of, and I have a fucking degree in political science. That doesn't change that reality, okay? You only appeal to that sort of authority when you have no other argument, which is a logical fallacy in and of itself. Also, he doesn't have a PhD in fucking self-help or whatever the fuck. The PhD he has, he, he only has a, a, a fucking a higher education in psychology. So uh, he, 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 has no, he has no conceptual understanding of, of any other humanities for that matter. So it literally doesn't matter. Like everything he talks about outside of his own field of expertise PhD isn't a degree, homie. It's a bit harder. Oh. This is why everybody universally hates grad students with me, with the exception of myself, just for the record. Okay? Just understand that that's precisely why every single fucking person hates grad students. Just know that. You deserve it. You deserve a lifetime of fucking being an adjunct professor getting exploited for seven dollars an hour as you try to like fuck some of your students uh, if, if that's your mentality about if that's the elitist fucking mentality that you have over your degree then yeah you deserve to be fucking exploited for the rest of your goddamn life as everyone around you looks at you like a clown ass because you you're fucking two hundred fifty thousand dollars in debt and you make less than a fucking person who worked at mcdonald's for a year and a half everyone else though that does not have that fucking uh, mentality of course uh, I, I am with you. You should unionize and fuck the exploitative college campuses that uh, rob you blind. I mean, my mom is a fucking professor. My dad is a fucking professor. Shut the fuck up. Fucking brainlit PhD. Jesus Christ. I'm not going to shit on grad students. Half my audience is fucking grad students. Based this on shitting on academic elitist? No, I, I think that shitting on academia is fucking smooth-brained as fuck. I think academia is important. I think that grad students do a remarkably important fucking job, okay? I, I think that it's silly to constantly be, like, anti-intellectual or constantly fucking shit on college degrees and whatnot. I talk about it quite frequently. But if you're going to have that kind of mentality and be like, <laughs> I think a PhD is actually uh, a little bit different than the way you say it, then yeah, I'm going to fucking... Put the, I'm going to shove all of those words back down your fucking elitist trust fund baby throat until it comes out of your ass. Have fun making less money than union plumbers for the rest of your life, as literally everyone calls you a cuck. Yo, 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 what is up, dog? Anyway, at Hassan Abbey, where you I hate when Sha Chavo shits on college. Group, yeah, I think that their their criticism of college is an institution that indoctrinates people into neoliberalism is true. I do agree with that. I think that college is, of course, going to Just indoctrinate you. Giuliani's it's what you make it. But uh, in, in a lot of circumstances, I think that when it's mixed in with his hair oils, join the Discord Minecraft. I'm a grad student. I agree. You shouldn't shit on PhDs, but there's a lot of shit on in academia. It's a toxic exploitative oh culture in academics. I know, man. I know. I know from literal personal experience with my family. Um, often don't think of themselves as workers, making it a lot harder to unionize. Yeah, I know. And people routinely, especially like fucking annoying leftists, uh, like stupid Paul leftists are always like, <laughs> uh, grad students are not fucking working class. Like, bitch, what do you mean? They make less than like, they make less than everybody. They get fucked over routinely. It's so dumb. Of course they're working class. Anyway. So. Why do people shit on people who don't go or finish college? Never seen that take on stupid poll, you hack fuck. Really? You're going to fucking defend stupid poll? I should just ban you for that. Just across the board. Except gender studies. Oh, this guy is an incel. Being racist has nothing to do with an incel. Ah, fuck off. Fucking weirdo. There you go. I banished you. 
here. Have some more oppression in your life, like women not sleeping with you. Which isn't a fucking uh, a form of oppression, by the way. You can better yourself. Don't even get me started on where you come from. We don't marry our brothers here in America, so I'm not sure who you're calling crazy. Yo, she is like wilding out. 